friends, mindfulness or meditation is a journey. It is not a destination at all. The moment it is destination, that is, that becomes one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute or ten minutes of the practice. Anything that is measured by the time we need an effort, but the mindfulness is effortless and natural. Second thing that we should take into account that it is a discovery of the subjective reality and that reality is peace, it is happiness, it is wisdom, it is truth. They are the essential nature. What is essential nature that never changes? That remains permanent. And what is permanent? That is beyond the cause and effect relationship. Who invites that cause and effect relationship? the mind. That is why the mindfulness is known as a state that transcends the mind. So my friends, uh, this you are going to practice with disclaimer. A simple mindfulness practice where we qualify the mindful of breath. Normally we say be mindful of the breath. Intellectually it may help us. So it has become a pattern and a habit. And anything that becomes a habit has to do with the cause and effect relationship. So learn and practice. This is a higher mindfulness practice. Why it is higher? The simpler the practice, the higher it is. <clears throat> we need to return to that mindfulness state in the beginning. Again and again, during the day, in the afternoon, before going to the sleep, so that the mind starts dropping its laziness, its craziness, its wandering nature that causes many challenges like anxiety, stress, duality, and a conflict. So again with a disclaimer, this is a higher mindfulness practice, takes hardly 20 minutes, and we move into totally a different state of the consciousness. Thank you. Let us start the simple mindfulness. First thing to understand in mindfulness, we do not think. Just uh, making your mind aware. When we have to do nothing, it means there is something deep within us that comes in front, which we call the inner peace, inner happiness, inner calmness. So we are looking at the subjective reality. So just Keep your mind aware and attentive. We are not doing, and I'll help you explore the finer principles of mindfulness. First is, let us say it is a first step. The first step is adjustment and alignment. So that helps the mind to return and become aware of our own body. 
look at the neck joint and the entire head and the neck. You have a freedom. If there is any discomfort, simply undo it. Look at it, the way I'm using the phrase. It is the state of doing nothing. Look at the sh right shoulder and the right arm. The state of doing nothing. If there is any discomfort there, undo it. So, as a teacher, I have to go slowly. Why I have to go slow? It slows down the speed of the mind. Look at the left shoulder and the left arm. Left shoulder and the left arm. We are just there. Why? We are aware that we are not doing anything. The rib case in the belly. I would say I'm intentionally repeating the major parts of the body. Why when the mind starts moving from outside, it needs to depend on something tangible. Normally people do not pay attention to these subtle steps comes from the traditional text and the wisdom. Look at the right leg from the right side of the waist to the right toes. We're simply looking as if the way I'm looking at you, you are looking at your own self, your own body. And you experience, yes, there is a comfort. Then the left leg, and it is comfortable, the entire body. Today, this audio, you should be doing it every day. Doing it means it is the state of not doing. The second step I say, change the direction of the mind. Changing the direction I'm facing to the west and I'm asking you, where is this turn? And you say, just turn. Oppose it. And, oh, here is the sun. That is what happens. That is what instantly induces a relaxation. So we follow the same, the tangible. Look at the neck joint. Be there. Just be there. So the mind, the speed has slowed down. It is looking there and it experiences the sensation that makes you aware. That very sensation suggests that mind has changed its direction. That much is required. Don't allow the mind to start thinking, no, I'll be in ultimate peace and happiness now. Look at the shoulder joints. Be there. So when you are there, you awaken, you feel the sensation. And that is enough. That brings us a sense of relaxation through an experience of conscious sensation.
Look at the hip joints. Be there. Experience the sensation and relaxation. Look at the knee joints. <clears throat> Again, understanding, looking at the neck joint, either I can say you can become aware of the knee joints, you can feel the sensation, and that sensation also gives a clue, oh yes, relaxation is there. Again, a reminder, when we do not think, the mind is inspired that there is some peace and happiness already present within. That is why we don't want to go into the cause and effect relationship. Look at the ankle joints, be there, sensation, relaxation is there. The entire body and entire body. And we feel that sensation. Sometimes people say, Oh, yes, you start feeling, you create those sensations. No. Mind changes the direction and comes closer to the body. That is why we feel not only the sensation, but also a relaxation and then again we move so called the next step the third step now see who the third step become aware of the steadiness it is such a simple practice The steadiness prevents the habitual mind to return. I would surely put a reasoning that if we bypass the habitual mind and remain in that state, remain in steadiness, we start firing the brain to rewire it. Again, understanding a simple thing, reminder. Mindfulness is a discovery, is a self-discovery. Our awareness discovers beyond cause and effect. So look at the head and the neck again. Experience. Conscious experience, it is aligned. Second experience, sensation and relaxation. And third experience, the steadiness. That is the key. Look at both the arms. Look. I have been applying those subtle principles for you and for the beginners it may not be possible to reach to that state. 
It's a regular practice that raises your awareness and you have reached to that state. And look at the rib cage and the belly. So now it is a very conscious experience. First aligned is alignment is there, means there is no discomfort. Sensation and relaxation is there. And Steadiness is there. Both the legs. We're not doing anything at all. And when we do nothing, we may fall into unconsciously. It is okay in the beginning. And sometimes it happens. The entire body, top to the toes, aligned, no discomfort. Second experience is the sensation and relaxation is there. And the third is the steadiness. So in this third step, we have all the previous experiences together. It is only in that state it is only in that state of sensation, relaxation and the steadiness, breath awareness works. Means, it helps the mind to go deeper. Discover that inner calmness and the peace. So now what should be an ideal next step? The ideal next step is the breath awareness. Again we go a little deeper. What is that breath awareness? We qualify this breath awareness with three points. First point, you are looking, the breath is going in and out. Second point, feeling the sensation of the breath that is going in and out. Third point, no change in the rate, in the rhythm of the breath. Three-pointed awareness, breath goes in and out, feel the sensation of the breath that goes in and out. Is it an activity? No. The breath is moving on its own, it strikes the nose, you feel the sensation. Third point.
you do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. So there is a natural attention, both on the moving breath, on the sensation, and there is an awareness of the entire field of movement of the breath. In the state of the sensation, relaxation in the stillness, that helps us to go to the mindfulness. If it is really a state of doing nothing, but the moment I say pay attention here, I'm already asking the mind to make an effort. Pay attention non-judgmentally. The moment you sow the seed of asking the mind to be non-judgmental, it will start thinking. If I'm judgmental, if I'm not. If I am, if I'm not. No doubt. The practice definitely induces the sense of relaxation but we go too far away from the traditional wisdom of mindfulness practice. The state of mindfulness is the state of being. The Eastern wisdom recognizes it rather starts with an assumption that <clears throat> the peace and happiness are of our essential nature. It cannot be changed. It is permanent. It is the state of the consciousness. Mind is constantly changing. In change, we cannot reach to that state. So through that awareness, we start working on the mind. And that working is not saying anything to the mind that you need to do anything. Just knowing in that particular moment, the way the mind is working, and simply telling the mind, here you are, in that state of relaxation, in that state of the steadiness, in that state of the breath awareness, qualifying breath with the three points. So what has been happening in the last couple of years, people have taken for granted, be mindful of the breath, that doesn't work. And that is how I started this with three-pointed awareness of the breath.
remain in the state as long as you feel Otherwise, you can bring your mind on the right hand, on the left hand, and you can bring both the palms on your eyes in order to return slowly. I'll deal that in the second practice. Ooh. Mm -hmm.